Ivor Sawfingers again with you, Ivor Sawfingers again, and this one is another Pink Floyd song, uh, one of their very early hits, See Emily Play. Standard tuning, no capos, doing it in the same key as the original song, okay? Obviously I've taken some liberties with this song because there's lots of little keyboard psychedelic bits and pieces in it which um, you need a keyboard for, obviously. So. Um, uh, then uh, made some slight differences as you've probably heard. Okay, so we're starting off with this uh, octave uh, on the A note. There's different ways you can play this. Simple ways just to go. Okay, it's a simple way of doing it, which is the fifth fret of the bottom E string and the fourth fret of the uh, sorry, the fourth string on the seventh fret. So just an octave A note. The way I was doing was to go hit that note and then sliding up to the 12th fret on the 5th string and then pulling off, sort of, so that sort of, that sort of, so it's a slide up and pull off, sort of slide down again, so just something slightly different than just going on. Okay, so, that sort of thing. Okay, do that four times. And then it goes into this bit, which is where the psychedelic bit comes in a bit. So that's a three time thing. I do it three times that one, and that's basically the fifth fret of the uh, fifth string to the third fret of the fifth string, the A string, and then fifth fret of the bottom E string three times. Okay, so. So I play that three times and then I just go from the fifth fret on the bottom E string to the third fret and then make up the G chord. So it's okay. So the whole intro slowly the way I did it was It goes, it does like three strums on the A minor and then it goes 
ah, ooh, and the R is on the A minor, ah, ooh, is on E minor. Okay, so it's that's it. Then we go to a C major seventh. So that's a C chord basically. It's a basic C chord with my with your first finger off. It's a simple version, okay? But I like to play it with G in the bass. So this third finger goes up to the third fret on the bottom E string, and pinky goes to the third fret on the fifth string, the A string there. Then you can hit all six strings. Okay, so but a simple one is fine. Five down to one. Or with the G in the bass, six down to one, all six strings. Okay, so so far, after it comes into this. Emily tries but misunderstands. Oh, she's of no kind to somebody is A minor, somebody's dream. Till G tomorrow. So C major seventh. She's not me inclined to borrow A minor. Somebody's dreams. G tomorrow. Stop. Okay. So let's just do that whole thing up to that point. So slowly, the way I played it, you can say I can do that, or the way I was doing it. Okay. So. So that's the verse, and it's the same for all the verses, okay? And then we do this little, keeping on the G shape, it goes, there is no, and that's basically the fifth string, holding the G chord, the bottom E string, the fifth string, and the fourth string. First three notes of the G chord there, sixth string, fifth string, fourth string. There, there is no, and then we go into an E chord, okay, an E major. Other day, and then it goes to D, so it goes, there is no other day, to D chord, let's try it, to an E chord, other day, D, you'll lose your E minor play, and then we go to an E7, so take off the third finger, leave the fourth string, the D string open, three games is an A7. As an A chord with an open third string. Second on the fourth and second on the second, open third, okay? Five down to one. That's three games to May. C E M O L E back to the G. Play. Then obviously it goes into a psychedelic bit again, uh, sort of thing. And I all I did was do that bit again. Three times then. To the second verse. Soon after dawn, Emily cried, oh, gazing at trees in sorrow, obvious sound till tomorrow. And then we're into the middle section again, okay, which is E, um, and that does um, those three notes again. There is no E. And obviously, then there's a solo, which is um, another psychedelic bit, so which I missed out, obviously. And I went into the last verse, which is exactly the same. Now, one more thing on the middle section where it goes is no other prayer, which is E to D for the first bit, yeah. What you can do is there is no other prayer. Okay, 
Okay, you can play those notes if you want to. You don't have to. It's an optional. It is on the record. Okay, and all it is is when you go to there is no e other day. Before you hit the D, you play, you strum the E chord other way. That's the second on the fourth. And then I'm moving my pinky up to the fourth fret on the fourth. And then back to the second on the fourth. And then the D chord. So it's, um, sorry, there is no Seven, uh, A7 and uh, da, 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 da. C in the lead day. Okay, and that does that on every every um, middle section or chorus section, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, there is no other day bit. Okay, the only other thing that's slightly different is at the end, right at the end of the song, the last bit where it goes, there is no other day. It doesn't stop on the G, it just carries on playing the G. C So G, play, D, D7, G, so it's like C, M, E, play, in the song, that sort of thing. So there you have it boys and girls, my uh, take on a uh, single guitar version of see emily play by pink floyd okay enjoy see you in the next lesson bye, -bye.